Hello and welcome to this brief presentation on finding sources. In this presentation we'll cover the value of knowing your topic or subject area, understanding the main types of source in your research area and where they can be found, the importance of planning for your search, and how to apply what you'll learn, thinking of search as a feedback process. Understanding the publishing landscape of your research area is very useful it can provide important information for the planning process. Developing this understanding includes placing your work in the intellectual and methodological history and context of publication in your field. You should ask yourself, where does or will my work fit into this landscape? What ideas, methods, research, etc. will it build on or relate to? Where are those ideas to be found? And where am I going to publish my research? This understanding can help when you come to look for sources. You'll think about where work is published and how it is shared, how you're going to go about finding and accessing that research, and what challenges might arise when you're searching for sources and trying to access them. You can then feed these insights into your search plan or strategy. Having a plan or strategy doesn't mean that chance, serendipity and flexibility don't play a role in literature searching. But having a plan can help make those things more likely and more manageable when they arise. Your plan should address your research question and the sources you will need to help you in answering it. As noted when discussing context in the publishing landscape, it's especially helpful to consider the challenges you might face in finding and getting hold of sources. For example, you might need training in using unfamiliar databases or you may need to plan for time to obtain some resources. This is particularly the case for those you need to get via document supply or items where you will need to go to a separate location, perhaps visiting archives and special collections. Your plan may include details of sources you've already used, for example materials that you used during a funding or course application. Search is a feedback process in which you can use what you learn and already know to amend and improve your searches. Thinking back to your plan, we said it may include details of items you already know, materials perhaps used during a funding or course application, and you can use the bibliographies and reading lists of these sources as a source of further reading. And as you read these items, you can feed back what you learn from them into the search process. For example, you'll learn specialist vocabulary you can use in keyword searches, you come to know who important authors are and you can start tracking down their work. Or you might identify important models and theories and then you look for articles that discuss those models and theories. With your plan, it's important to be flexible. If what you learn means you change something about part of the plan, for example trying different search terms, different databases, perhaps even amending your research question, that's fine. In summary then, Get to know the landscape of your topic. Make a plan and apply what you learn as you go and be flexible when you approach your search strategy. You can get further help, advice and guidance from our website blogs.shu.ac.uk slash library research support. You can email us library-research-support at shu.ac.uk and you can call us on 0114 225 3852